the purpose of this uh, video is to test my radiant diffusers this one i bought it from an indian company it's a big size radiant diffuser i made a small mini size radiant diffuser myself Welcome to Dr. Jalil Photography Channel. Today, uh, I'll be taking some pictures of my uh, favorite flower, reindeer flower. Uh, you can see there are several uh, pink and white, and there are some yellow down there. So, so I'm going to test both these two in this veranda with ambient light around it. And also, I'll be doing some photographs on my tabletop studio of these flowers to see the difference of this uh, radiant diffuser as well as to get some very clean shot on my tabletop studio. I'll be explaining at the end of this video why I have taken some photographs on my indoor tabletop studio of these flowers. So keep watching, I'll show you the pictures comparison between these two radiant diffuser. If you like this uh, macro photography or flower photography indoor and outdoor you can subscribe my channel i'll be uploading plenty of videos on macro photography the diffusers the lenses and many other things related to macro photography so please subscribe my channel if you like it give a thumbs up and if you want to share with your friends please share this video in your channel. This is about my camera and lens. I'm using Sony A6500 and the lens is TD Artisan 40mm macro lens. And this radiant diffuser is made for this particular size lens. Let me show you the setup of these flowers on my tabletop studio you can see i bring this all three flowers on my table first i'll take the picture of this pink one so that i put on the front and the white flowers in the back and i have created some control light there is one led light over here there's one led light over here and this is the one I'll be using most, a focus light on the flower, which one I want to take so that it gives an illumination from the bottom and gives a nice shade of the flower petals. I'll be showing the pictures at the end of this video. So keep watching. Now I'm using this uh, big size radiant diffuser for this uh, flower photo shoot on my tabletop studio. Now I'm going to change this uh, radiant diffuser with my mini radiant diffuser which I made myself. And let me see the difference between these two diffusers. Let me change it. Now I have changed my large size diffuser with a small mini radiant diffuser which I made myself and uploaded the video on making of this mini radiant diffuser in my YouTube channel. I'll put the link below so that if you want to make yourself you can watch this video you can watch my video and make it yourself for your own camera and lens. So let me take some pictures of these flowers. Now I'll be showing the pictures I've taken in this session. I don't find any difference between these two diffusers. The one is large diffuser, which I bought from Indian company and the small one I made myself. Both diffusers are excellent. No hot spots, no dark shadows in the pictures. However, I had to take plenty of shots to match the framing, the match the 
angle etc to show you the similar pictures from both diffusers. The only difference you might have noticed for the small diffuser I had to use flux strength 1 over 8 and for large diffuser I had to use flux strength 1 over 4. That means with the smaller diffuser I can save my flush power significantly, almost half of the large diffuser. If you like it, please subscribe my channel and stay connected. Bye-bye.